right, guys, I'm here with Agent SV1 from uh, Awakening Themselves. They just got done playing that C2, uh, matching a C2 that you just saw. Um, so, Agent, first of all, um, you know, just sitting here talking with you, just kind of uh, briefly explain, you know, what went wrong with that match. You know, you guys were playing a very, very strong T side. Um, kind of give us a little bit of the breakdown on C2 side. What did you think happened? Well, uh, it kind of was expected because we're a roster that just came together in the past few weeks. Uh, a lot of experience together. Uh, I played uh, with the last two lands with Debbie last year. Uh, we went to Atlanta Fest, and then they had the other, uh, what was it, the one out there, Te the Texas land. And uh, so we did that. Jared hopped in one of those with us. But that's my connection with Debbie and uh, Jared. Jared and Debbie have played with 3Xon and Clown for you know years. So I'm sort of like the guy that came in there and all of us together maybe about a month of experience, so it wasn't a surprise to us that we were able to get a lot of, uh, you know, momentum going on T side, because, you know, when teams are a little bit shaky CT, an offensive talent team can t pick them apart, right. and so then on the reverse side, we obviously had the same problem, you know, we still working on our cohesion, uh, Deppy, Jared, and I were in the Marine Corps, okay. we're all based down in North Carolina, same base, but we're lucky for that, I sometimes play out of uh, Deppy's room. And, uh, you know, it's hard to all get us all on playing. We've, we've yet to play one match together in the league. So uh, th this is our five, and we're, we're happy with what we got. And uh, as long as we keep keep the scheduling under wraps, you know, we're good. We've got a forfeit loss driving out of here. Yeah. Because the team didn't want to play us. So. Right, right. Shout out to my brother who's also in the Marine Corps. He's stationed out in Fort Pendleton. Awesome. He's watching right now. So uh, that, that's neat just to, to, have to share that uh, with some of the viewers. So, okay, we'll, we'll take us, you know, you, you kind of explained that um, maybe the chemistry wasn't there. Okay, so you come out here, uh, you come to Indiana, basically where a lot of people didn't want to come, and, and you compete. How does that really help chemistry moving forward? Well, it proves that we're all dedicated to being a part of the community. Right. That's something that's getting really lost in this. Uh, it, well, it, it has been lost for the past few years. It's just been gone. But this game is giving everybody an opportunity to have something to go to. And this was a, a Midwest land. Uh, we, we made the 14-hour drive. Crucial Connection made the 17-hour drive. And uh, I talked to Mo and those guys, and they, you know, they flew all the way from California. So nobody has an excuse. If you want to be a part of the community, you have to come out here to these events. I mean, back when we were playing, you know, strong back from 2005 to 2008, if you were an invite team or a top main or premier team and you didn't show up to land, you were nobody. Yeah. So. You have, to, you have to make time. It was a Martin Luther King Jr. You know, weekend uh, that we get that off in the Marine Corps. Weekend. So we, we were like, all right, this is it. Yeah. You know, Ryan hooked it up, so we, uh, we made it out here. Sure. Well, that's, uh, you know, that, that strong sense of community is what I think Counter-Strike needs right now. You know, we're, we're going against the likes of other games. And obviously, we want it to be something very big, but ultimately, who's, you know, who's responsible? It's the community itself. Absolutely. Okay. So just kind of, you know, lastly, just kind of take us through the silver lining. You know, you come out here. Play, you know, a really close match with Low Key, which, as a matter of fact, I've already been asked to go through and do a, a voiceover for, and I'm going to do that. Awesome. Uh, so, you know, take us through just the experience of silver lining you take from this thing. Tell us what you learned about your team, what you're going to work on moving forward. Well, I'll tell you what, Awakening's back. Awakening's back. We're hoping that, you know, our, we're old guys. You know, we're 25 and over, so these are the guys that have been around for a little longer now. If we can. Keep the schedule together. You know, we don't lose a guy to school. I'm going to training all the time, so as other two guys, you know, we will have something good here. We, we can definitely, you know, pull it in and compete with any one of these teams. Sure. Absolutely. So we we have confidence here. This is the first time we got to play together, you know, full straight. And the land, landing is the way to go. This is what got us playing the game. This is what pulled us into it, and this is what's going to keep us into it. Sure. If these events keep happening, it's just going to rebuild the community. We're going to be good. Any last shout outs, any words for your fans, your viewers? Well, you know, it's been nice to be a part of the community, and uh, now hopefully this will give me a little more motivation to get back into it. I need to get a computer again. <laughs> I'm playing off a 50 FPS laptop right now, okay. so that's why I don't opt online. Oh, okay. I play IAK, but here, obviously, well, you, you'll, uh, you'll find out when you do the voiceover for all sure. the, the matches. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm back. All right. So it's waking up. Well, you have it there from Asian himself, from Awakening. Awakening is back. Uh, the word
yours from Agent himself. So, all right, guys, we're going to uh, mute the stream momentarily. I'll be back shortly with the giveaway information. Stay tuned. It will be given away to one random.